G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazine in Western Australia with Greg Collett from Sports Marine. Now I drove into town this morning, very impressive dealership and you have a laundry list of boat brands that you do, uh, mainly fitted with the Yamaha Motors. You must have been there for a while to build up such a great range of stock and a, a great selection for your customers. Been around since 76 and you know the business has grown from just a couple of us to about 12 staff. Uh, yeah, we've been around and it has grown as you saw. Um, now the boat we're testing this morning, a New Zealand built boat, the Extreme Boats. Um, tell us why your customers like the Extreme Boats so much. They love the, just the solidness of the boat. Uh, it was a bit different, you know, we've had all the Aussie boats with uh, timber floors and and once we came into this sort of boat with you know the checker plate, flooding keel, it's just a whole new thing. and. Yeah, it's been embraced. Um, WA, I suppose, in Australia terms, is like this is the tough state. This is where guys really put their gear through their paces. You do long trips on the water and on the road, and these boats uh, have what it takes to stay together. They certainly do. Um, I've been over the factory and gave it, you know, the good once over. What I, we really impressed me was the boats are built by one guy. So, you know, this boat behind us, one guy's built this from new. So it's not like I did that and I thought you did that bit, you know, so yeah. it's not like mass produced. They build 300 boats a year, but every boat is built individually. So that for quality control, you just can't beat it. Now, when these boats get shipped to Australia, you do a couple of things to them. One, you put them on an Australian built trailer and two, you put a, a Yamaha on the back of it. You're obviously a big Yamaha dealer and love this uh, F-130, the product, which is on the back of this uh, Extreme. Mm. Yammies are just uh, perfect for the boat. Uh, we've done these ones behind us, mainly with 130s, which go really nice, but we've done a few of the 150, the bigger engine. Um, yeah, we use Aussie trailers, so the boats come in on cradles, so for the logistics, it's easy for us. We just organise, Dumbia do all the trailers, so boats come in to the port, we get them shipped to Dumbia, Dumbia set them up on a trailer, deliver to us, and then we do the rest, you know, so anchor winches we're using Aussie uh, stress-free winches the Yammies can't beat those so um, look this is it seems to be a perfect uh, match for the local waters down here um, I think we should get this boat on the water and do some performance statistics Well, there you go. What a great day out from Bunbury here in Western Australia. Even the dolphins came along to have a bit of a look um, at this great um, extreme boat. Um, economy wise, it's a great boat. It's uh, at 4,000 RPM. This thing does 37 kilometres an hour. You get 2.2 kilometres per litre of fuel burned. Um, wide open throttle at 5,900 RPM. This thing travels at 59 kilometres an hour, but your economy goes down by nearly one kilometre per litre. Um, jumping into this boat immediately, it looks like it's painted in silver. 
silver, but that's the uh, the Nialic finish, which is on these boats. Several of the New Zealand boats I've tested have had it, um, and it's a great way to keep your investment looking great. Um, I've seen boats that have had this for two or three years, and it looks nearly as good as the day that, uh, that you buy it. Um, also, in these extreme boats, the welding is first class. You'll see in some of the cutaways here that the, uh, that the welding, they're very proud of it. There's a lot of it here, and they do it really, really well. Um, some of the best welding I've seen in the industry. Um, with this 130, I'm sort of split split decision whether I think it's not enough horsepower or not. Getting out of the hole, a 150 would do it a little bit better, but when you're cruising, this boat's really well balanced, and with those economy figures and the cheaper purchase, purchase price, I can see why 80% of these boats are sold with that 130 horsepower Yamaha option. Um, best thing of all though is this dealer in Bunbury, very happy to take you out for a test drive. Um, visit Sports Marine Boat Centre uh, on Facebook, Sports Marine Boat Centre-Bunbury is the one you like. Visit www.sportsmarine.com.au for full quoting. This one has tested $81,575 with all of the, the electronics and stuff that are in it. Uh, packages start from high 70s. Great price for a great New Zealand built plate boat.